Okay class, Assalamualaikum and good day. So today we will continue with the chapter 5 which is the application of the higher order differential equation. In previous video, I have uh, teach you on the first application which is the uh, RLC circuit that consists of resistor, inductor and also capacitor in one circuit and it's produced a second order differential equation as well as the, uh, the second application which is the spring and mass system where the spring and mass system is divided into three types okay the first one is for the free motion okay we have the free motion okay kita ada tiga type of spring and mass system okay the first one is uh, free undamped motion The second one is free damp motion and the third one is driven motion. Okay, so kita dah tengok macam mana kita nak derive spring and mass system from uh, the a few equation, okay, from a few equation which is the total sum of force that uh, this uh, that contribute into the second order differential equation which is mx double prime plus beta x prime plus kx equal to f external this one is the third uh, types of spring mass system which is driven motion where m is the mass beta is the damp coefficient damping coefficient k is the spring constant and f external is any external force okay when f external is equal to zero it become the second one which is free damp motion where we have our equation as fx double prime plus beta x prime plus kx equal to zero so this one is the homogeneous equation okay when the damping coefficient is equal to zero then we have the free undamped motion also known as a simple harmonic motion where we only have the differential equation as mx double prime plus kx equal to zero the uh, damping coefficient zero the f external zero so kita dapat yang first okay so dia berasal daripada the third one okay so kita dah tengok the free undamped motion before this okay so kita nak tengok one example here one of example of free undamped motion so you can see the equation here a mass Okay, dia punya cara penyelesaian sebenarnya sama je macam yang kita belajar macam mana nak selesaikan second order differential equation. Cuma nya bila application ni dia punya uh, masalah dia adalah awak nak bentukkan differential equation tu kena betul-betul faham soalan. Okay, so soalan kata mass weighing 24 pounds. So we need to know that weight, okay, weight is equal to mg. So yang ini adalah weight. 24. So, kita nak cari nilai M. Gravity kita adalah 4 pounds, 1 slug is equal to 32. Okay. So, M is equal to 24 over 32 which is equal to 3 over 4. Okay. So, ini maklumat pertama. Attach to the end of a spring. Stretch it 4 inch. So, ni ada spring. Okay. Asal. And then, bila kita letak mass, spring ni at uh, spring ni dia stretch sebanyak 4 inch. Maksudnya, 4 inch ini adalah dia punya S. Tetapi, class, S mestilah dalam feet. Okay, so nak tukar inch kepada feet, kita kena bahagi dengan 12. And we have equation mg equal to ks. Okay, so mg adalah 24. Okay, m darab g. 3 per 4 darab 3 per 2 adalah 24 adalah K darab S S kita 4 tapi kena bahagi dengan 12 because dia nak kena tukar kepada fit ok therefore we have here 24 equal to K 1 over 3 ok so K is equal to 72 ok and then kita boleh terus tulis kita punya differential equation di mana for free undamped motion mx double prime plus kx equal to 0 so we have our m equal to 3 over 4 okay x double prime plus with 72x equal to 0 
Okay So sekarang ni kita boleh solve kita punya Homogeneous equation Okay So kita tukar kepada auxiliary Ataupun characteristic equation You will get 3 over 4 lambda square Plus 72 equal to 0 Bring all this to the right So you have 3 over 4 lambda square Equal to negative 72 Okay, so lambda square equal to negative 72 multiplied by 4 over 3. So you will have lambda square equal to negative um, 96. Okay, lambda equal to punca kuasa mesti ada positif negatif negatif 96. Okay, therefore you will have your lambda equal to plus minus um, 96i. Okay, negative tukar jadi I And then this one you can simplify it to be 96 is equal to 16 darab 16 So jadi punca kuasa 16 darab punca kuasa 6 I So punca kuasa 16 adalah 4 So you have 4 square root of 6 I Kalau tak nak simplify pun tak ada masalah Okay so from here you get your root alpha plus minus beta I So your root alpha is equal to 0 your beta is equal to 4 square root 6 So you have your xt equal to Okay, solution you adalah exponent alpha t So exponent 0 t C1 cos beta t plus C2 sin beta t Okay, so ini adalah equal to 1 Okay, so you have your xt equal to c1 cos 4 square root of 6t plus c2 sin 4 square root 6t. Sekarang kita tengok adakah dia bagi kita initial condition. So, kalau you teruskan baca dia tulis. The mass is released from rest from a point 3 inches. So, rest means initially. Okay, maknanya pada mula Dia, uh, the mass ni release daripada rest from point x uh, 3 inches above the equilibrium position Okay, so kita ada mass Okay, ni equilibrium position Okay, so at rest Maksudnya pada t equal to 0 The mass release from a point 3 inches above Okay, so bila 3 inches above Maksudnya nilainya adalah Negatif Nilai apa? Nilai X So we have X at time T equal to 0 Equal to negative 3 Okay X 0 equal to negative 3 Okay Tapi 3 ini adalah inches So you need to tukar kepada feet So X at time T equal to 0 Equal to negative uh, Sorry bahagi dengan 12 Bukan bahagi dengan 4 Okay, tukar kepada feet bahagi dengan 12 So at, x, at t equal to 0, x equal to negative 1 over 4 Okay, so you boleh masukkan initial condition Means that pada, x equal, uh, pada t equal to 0 So kita kena gantikan t ni equal to 0 So we have c1 cos 4 square root of 6 times 0 plus c2 sin 4 square root of 6 multiply by 0 Dia equal to negative 1 over 4 Okay, so cos 0 Yang belakang ni 0 Cos 0 equal to 1 So you have C1 multiplied by 1 here Plus sin 0 equal to 0 Okay, equal to negative 1 over 4 So you have C1 equal to negative 1 over 4 Okay, so you have your C1 equal to negative 1 over 4 And your C2 is equal to 0 Therefore, you have your final solution as X 0, eh sorry xt equal to negative 1 over 4 cos 4 square root of 6 t so ini adalah u punya equation of motion ok so alam minta kita cari equation of motion maksudnya xt ini adalah for the first case which is the simple harmonic motion ok so when we have the second case Okay, the second case is free damp motion means that we are 
uh, considering a system of spring and mass system that consists of them coefficient. Okay, so untuk case yang kedua, awak punya differential equation will always be in the form of mx double prime tambah beta x prime tambah kx equal to zero. Okay, di mana kita mempunyai dam coefficient. Yang ini adalah dam coefficient. Okay, yang ini adalah mass, yang ini adalah spring constant dan external force masih lagi kosong. So, bila kita nak solve kita punya sistem yang ini, kita tahu this one is homogeneous system. We need to transform this into the auxiliary equation ataupun characteristic equation. So, characteristic equation adalah M lambda square tambah B lambda plus K equal to zero. Okay, and then kita akan factorize untuk cari nilai lambda. Okay, so for the second case which is the free dam motion, we have three condition. Okay, condition yang pertama, if you check the, um, uh, if you check the B square minus 4AC. Okay, you check the B square minus 4AC. B square minus 4AC ambil daripada nilai ni lah. Ni B, okay, ni A. Ni C, bila you dah dapat karakteristik equation, kita akan tengok contoh. Okay, kalau you dapat B square minus 4AC adalah greater than 0. Okay, you dapat B square minus 4AC greater than 0. Maksudnya, you punya lambda berbeza lah. Okay, macam biasalah kita tahu yang kalau B square minus 4AC, lambda 1 tak sama dengan lambda 2 berbeza. Okay, so kita punya equation as uh, 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 equation kita nanti, general solution kita nanti akan jadi C1 exponent lambda lambda 1t okay, plus C2 exponent lambda 2t. Ini benda biasa awak tahu. Okay, so untuk ini, case ini kita panggil dia sebagai over damp motion. Nah, dia ada tiga jenis sekarang kita talking about the second case which is free dam motion. Okay, so dam motion itself ada tiga jenis. Kalau kita punya B square minus discriminant value, this one is discriminant value, B square minus 4 AC greater than zero. So maksudnya kita ada over dam motion. Okay, over dam motion. Kalau kita ada, kita punya B square minus 4 AC sama dengan kosong. So, bila sama dengan kosong, kita tahu yang lambda 1 kita sama dengan lambda 2. So, kita punya motion equation nanti akan jadi C1 exponent lambda 1T plus C2T exponent lambda 1T. Okay, sebab lambda 1 dengan lambda 2 sama. Okay, so for this one, kita panggil dia sebagai critically dam. Critically dam motion Okay, critically dam motion Okay Dan Kalau kita ada B square Minus 4 AC Less than 0 Okay, bila less than 0 Kita akan dapat uh, Complex root which is alpha plus Minus beta i So, kita punya uh, equation of motion Akan jadi exponent alpha t C1 cos beta t plus C2 sin beta t. Ni benda biasa. Okay, so kalau kita dapat discriminant value less than zero, this one is called as under them. Ha, yang ni senang je awak nak kena ingat. Okay, kalau besar daripada over them. Kalau kurang daripada under them. Kalau sama dengan critically them, because now we are look, uh, we are working on the dam motion. So dam motion sendiri ada tiga jenis: over dam, under dam, critically dam. Apa dia over dam? Over dam bila awak dapat b square minus 4 ac besar. Apa dia under dam? Under dam bila awak dapat b square minus 4 ac kurang. Apa dia critically dam? B square minus 4 ac sama dengan. Awak kena kenal pasti lah. Okay. So kita tengok satu contoh. Okay. Kita tengok satu contoh. Dia kata consider the solution of the initial value problem d square x 
dt square tambah 5 dx over dt tambah dengan 4x sama dengan kosong diberi initial value x0 equal to 1 x prime 0 equal to 1 ok so sekarang ni dia bagi consider the solution is x t sama dengan 5 per 3 eksponen negatif t tolak 2 per 3 eksponen negatif 40 ok kelas dia suruh kita tentukan yang ini adalah uh, critically dam ke under dam ke over dam kalau awak tengok apa yang kita ada sekarang kita punya sistem ni adalah free dam kenapa free dam free sebab external force masih lagi kosong dam sebab kita ada damping coefficient here so the, this one is free dam ok case yang kedua so sekarang ni macam mana kita nak tentukan sama ada kita punya uh, sistem ni under dam ke critically dam ke over dam ke dia dah bagi awak solution so awak tengok je lah kalau awak tengok kat solution ni awak tengok solution dia adalah ini constant ini constant ok ini adalah lambda yang pertama ini adalah lambda yang kedua Lambda pertama tak sama dengan lambda kedua Bila lambda tak pertama tak sama dengan lambda kedua Ini adalah untuk case B square minus 4 AC greater than 0 Okay So B square minus 4 AC greater than 0 adalah Over dam Over dam motion Okay so ni kalau dia suruh tentukan lah Yang ini solution dia dia kata Tentukan spring MS system ni over dam ke Under dam ke critically dam Okay so kita tengok pada dia punya Kalau dia, dia dah bagi solution tengok nilai lambda dia Kalau nilai lambda dia sama Maksudnya dia adalah equal to zero So equal to zero dia adalah critically dam Kalau kita dapat kita punya solution ini Dalam cos or sine Okay maksudnya kita punya lambda tadi adalah Um Uh, complex root So bila complex root Maksudnya B square minus 4 AC Less than 0 So bila less than 0 Kita ada under Under dam Bila kita ada lambda kita Different Maksudnya B square minus 4 AC Greater than 0 So bila greater than 0 Maksudnya kita punya sistem Adalah Over dam Okay so itu adalah Tiga jenis sistem Under Case yang kedua Which is this one Free dam motion Okay